course link is provided in the description. Hello and welcome to the course Batch Processing with Spring Batch and Spring Boot. Let me drive you to the topics that you will learn from this course. This course is all about Spring Batch. So the very first thing we will see is what is batch processing by taking the real world example. Then we will see what is Spring Batch and what is job and step provided by Spring Batch. There are two types of step provided by Spring Batch. We will also see Spring Batch architecture. After having the basic knowledge of Spring Batch, we will get started with it. In this course, you will learn Spring Batch with Spring Boot. In this section, you will learn the Tasklet step with example. And you will also learn how to configure MySQL database with your Spring Batch application. This section also covers job parameter, job listener and step listener. This section is completely focused on chunk oriented step. In this section, you will learn item reader, item processor and item writer. In this section, you will learn how to launch a job using REST API and how to schedule a job using Spring Scheduler. You will also learn how to stop a job using REST API. There are different item readers provided by Spring Batch and that's what this section covers. First, you will learn flat file item reader to read from the CSV file. You will also learn how to read from the JSON and XML file. You will learn how to read from the MySQL database using JDBC item reader and also you will learn how to read from the REST API. Just like item readers, Spring Batch provides different item writers and that's what this section covers. First, you will learn the flat file item writer to write to a CSV file. You will also learn how to write to JSON file and how to write to XML file. This section also covers how to write to MySQL database using JDBC item writer and how to write to REST API. Fault tolerance is very important while working with Spring Batch and that's what this section covers. You will learn how to identify the fault and how to skip the bad records. In this section, you will learn how to capture the bad records while reading the data, processing and writing the data. You will also learn retry mechanism provided by Spring Batch. This section covers real-time use case that is database migration. You will learn how to migrate from Postgres to MySQL database using Spring Batch. And for this purpose, we will use JP item reader and JP item writer. Now, let's talk about the prerequisite that you need to have before taking this course. So the very first is, you need to have the basic knowledge of Java and Apache Maven. And the second is, you need to have the basic knowledge of Spring Boot and Spring Framework. For more information, you can check out the description and also you can watch the preview videos by clicking over here. So what are you waiting for? Enroll into the course now and start learning Spring Batch with Spring Boot. We'll see you in the course. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.